Look at it. Look at it. Jesus and Mary picture is in the Hagia Sophia where they pray. They pray to Jesus in Hagia Sophia. They have the Jesus and Mary's picture in Hagia Sophia. They erased all the other pictures, okay, guess why? but they because did not we, erase okay, that picture. Because Muhammad said, okay. don't erase wait, Jesus wait, and Mary wait, in, the, okay. in the Kaaba. We took wait, so erase Sophia. all the statues, everything. But we we Muhammad Sophia, left please, Jesus and Mary's picture in there. That's why in Hagia Sophia, they left it. They, they're telling us, they're telling us, they worship the moon. This guy says, there is no crescent moon on our mosque. This guy, put the camera on this guy. Right here, show us this guy's face. He tells us here, there is no crescent moon on the mosque. And he wants to talk to me about Jesus. You said Kaaba. Look at, I said the mosque in Kaaba on the minaret has that. The mosque in Kaaba. So why does the mosque in Kaaba has a minaret on the minaret has the crescent moon? Why? Why does the minaret has the crescent moon? So you come on, man. What happened to you? He was just he was talking to twelve-year-old girl, American tourist. This guy and this guy on her. Oh, what is it? What is this? When I come, the stand like statues because this guy. Go away, go away. They're just here to talk to young little girls, 12 year olds. Like Muhammad, he likes young girls. These men, they want to show their men to young girls. They can't come and talk to a man. No, you can't. You can't. Tell me where's your crescent moon. Why you have the crescent moon? Tell me. Tell me your crescent moon. When? Well, tell me. Tell me. Why you have no argument? You have none? Why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? You cannot defend Islam. None of them can de defend Islam. They are here to talk to young girls, 12 years old, Christian tourists. That's all they are here for. You can't answer anything. Don't become his disciple. Islam is false. Islam is from the devil. It's from the pits of hell. Crescent moon is satanic. So you left to worship in cow. Crescent moon is from the you devil. You're a you drink a you drink the urine of camel. Why do you guys drink camel urine? You was worshiping cows. Right. You Your hadith is you telling you to drink camel God. urine. Proof You're coming yours. and telling me I worship a cow. Proof that. Okay, why you drink that? If you don't tell me why you drink camel urine, because I'll, Muhammad told you it. it's good yes, for your I'll stomach. Drink it. What's your problem? If I'll you get a it. stomachache, yeah, yeah, drink some yeah, camel yeah, urine. Yeah, During the pandemic, there was an article from the CDC telling the Muslims don't drink camel urine. It doesn't heal you of COVID. That's what that's these people. That's you guys. You guys are. That's what. No, in the Bible it's actually called medicine. You know it's scientifically proven that camel urine is good for you and It's scientifically. Can, can you come in front of the camera? Can come over here. Let's let's hear you speak. You were here last week. You were here last week. You were on camera last week. You are this lady here telling us, Muslim lady from Palestine, that camel urine has medical benefits. That's why they were drinking camel urine during the pandemic. And the CDC wrote an article because of people like him, her, telling them to drink, uh, to drink camel urine. And she's proved it. You're saying that, where is it proving? She's telling you that, uh, that it's okay to drink camel urine. Which one of you two Muslims is right? I said it's okay. Okay, then why, why is she saying it's okay? I said it's okay, and I'm telling you it's okay. You're, she's saying that I'm no, okay. out of the camera. It's okay, uh, we drink it. Oh, what's your point? It's, it's, it's good. What's your point? It's good for your health. No, but what's your point? No, cow poop is no good for your health. Uh, what is your point? What is your point? Yes. Yes. Are you drinking camel urine no, this morning? Mind. What? what? Oh, you don't mind drinking camel urine? Yeah, what's wrong with what? no, There's nothing wrong. No, no, okay, the CDC no. tells us that it's bad for your health. It can kill you. That's right. And that lady here, who's a Muslim on camera, tells us last here that camel urine is good for your health. So there she goes, she's selling us again. They eat their God and drink the blood of their God. Ah, okay. So again, you, you have no answer. God. You have no you answer. You have no answer. You, you have no answer for you Islam. You have no Jesus. answer for Islam. You eat your God. Why you have crescent moon? You have no answer. Why you drink God. Uh, 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 camel urine? You have no, you have no answer. No answer. No answer. No answer. Where is the crescent moon? Where is the answer? Where is your answer? Where is your answer? Where is your answer? You have nothing to defend. 
right. Your God. Islam is defense of us. And the flesh of Jesus cannot be defended. Islam cannot be defended. And you cannot defend it. No, you cannot defend it. All right. You're in my camera. You're in my camera. These guys could not answer one question about the crescent moon, why they drink the camel urine, no answer. All he wants to do is attack Christians. But then they, yeah, that's right. That's what they, in remembrance, in remembrance, in remembrance, right. It's in remembrance of our God. It's in remembrance of our God. And it's wine and bread, by the way. Wine and bread. We eat wine and bread. Wine and wine and bread. You eat your wine and bread. Wine and bread. You eat your All right. Now you guys drink actual urine. Not symbolic urine. They drink actual urine. We don't drink actual blood or eat actual flesh. They drink actual urine. These are the guys. They no, drink pagans. actual urine. The we eat pagans. bread and drink wine. We eat bread and drink wine in man. remembrance. And you drink and you camel eat urine. And, you drink and that blood. lady stands here tells us camel urine is good You're for you. Animals. you sure, are you uh, regularly yeah, drinking camel you urine? Drink God, Do you regularly drink camel urine? Well, if it's scientific ruin, then you should be drinking it. Why are you afraid to admit it? Where do you buy your camel urine from? Are they shipping it from Arabia? Why are you drinking your blood? Okay, so lady, she just read you the article. Camel urine is dangerous for you. Okay, Muhammad was wrong. Muhammad was wrong about everything. Everything he said was wrong. What? You claim to be Christian, yeah? yeah? Do you walk in the footsteps of Jesus? Walk in the what? Do you walk in the footsteps of Jesus? Footsteps of Jesus? Yeah, yeah. We, try, we try, we try, yeah. we try, we try. Do you eat yeah. pig? Do you eat pork? We try. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 Are you that, that's not. What do you mean? Are you circumcised? Yes! yes. Show me Muhammad. Show me in your hadith. Show me Muhammad was circumcised. Show me Muhammad was circumcised. Was Muhammad circumcised? What? What? Muhammad, hey, Muhammad was born circumcised. The lady says Muhammad was born circumcised. Was born circumcised. Was Muhammad born circumcised? Was Muhammad born circumcised? Muhammad was born circumcised. Allah sent him circumcised. <laughs> so, your, your prophet was not circumcised. Muhammad was not circumcised. Muhammad was not circumcised. Muhammad was not circumcised in the Quran, in the Hadith. Muhammad is not circumcised. Muhammad is not circumcised. These people are drinking camel urine. They're, they think that Muhammad was circumcised, where the Quran and the Hadith say, never says Muhammad was circumcised. There's a book that was written hundreds of years later, gives you three different options. Maybe he was born circumcised, maybe he was circumcised by his father, or maybe a Jibril sacrifice. We don't know. Because nobody knows, because Quran Hadith never talks about his circumcision because he's a pagan. He was born a pagan. He was a pagan. Muhammad was a pagan, was never circumcised. Cannot be a prophet from God. Another lie. Jesus is Lord. Another lie. Show, show me from your Quran or Hadith Another Muhammad was circumcised. Can you show me? Can you show me? Can you prove me wrong? Can you prove me wrong? Can you prove me? I can. You can. Don't show me. I'm waiting. Show me from your Quran or Hadith Muhammad was circumcised. Show it to me. I'm waiting. I don't have it on me now. Oh, you have your phone. Go and go your phone. There's sunnah.com. You'll see all the hadith. Okay. Quran.com. You can find all the verses okay. in the Quran. So if Muhammad so told us, what did you if Muhammad was Muhammad circumcised in the Quran or the hadith? Yeah. yeah. Show me. Uh, what? What? From that he was circumcised. You believe Quran? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Show me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll believe what? it if it's in your Quran. You believe Kalma? I will believe it. Do you have was Muhammad you circumcised? If you if you don't answer my question, I don't have to answer yours. Okay. If you answer my question, I'll answer yours. Okay. Was Muhammad circumcised? 
I'm asking you believe Quran, sorry, you sorry. believe Kalma. It doesn't work like no, that. No, 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 you it believe. doesn't work like that. No. If you don't answer me, I don't have to answer you. You believe I'm asking you, you. No, no, I asked you. I asked you, you. the question Quran, I'm asking on you? here. From where? I'm because asking he, everybody. He's he, looking for the answer. He's looking he, for the other. You're he, coming he, me he, here telling me, yes, it's in the Quran and the Hadith Muhammad was circumcised. Show me in the Quran and Hadith Muhammad was circumcised. That's it. That's all you have to do. You're wasting my time. Don't waste my time. You know, Muhammad was never circumcised. The guy who wrote about it didn't know when he was circumcised. He said maybe Allah circumcised him, maybe Jibreel circumcised him when he was six years old, or maybe he was born circumcised. He was. Okay, so show us. Yeah, hey. Okay, yeah. Which, which, what is this? You read it. What is it? You pull it up. What is it? Is it Quran? Is it Hadith? Sir, is it Hadith or is it Quran? Is it Hadith or is it Quran? Hadith, which Hadith? Is it Sahih Hadith? Hadith report. No, no, Hadith Sahih or the Daif? Are you talking about Daif Hadith? I'm not sure. Okay, you're not sure. The guy is saying, I don't know what I'm reading, but I'm going to show you something. I told you there was a book written. That was hundreds of years after Muhammad. This guy, because they forgot, Allah forgot about his circumcision. Hadith forgot about his circumcision. This guy came hundreds of years later and said, well, you know, maybe Allah circumcised it. Maybe Jibreel did it. We don't know, but just he was circumcised somehow. I don't know. And now he's quoting me, this guy, because there is no Quran, no Hadith saying Jesus or Muhammad was circumcised. That's it. Your guys. So what, how do you have what that? is the benefit of Muhammad being circumcised? Or because it's a covenant from God. So all the prophets, they have to be circumcised because they're in the covenant of Abraham. Okay, listen to me. This is a very good question. Now, the first time you've asked a good question. Uh -huh. If you are claiming to be from the God of the Bible, are you not choppy choppy? Then I am. I, ha I am circumcised. I am you circumcised. I am circumcised. When I was little. My oh, she's a Muslim. Oh, mashallah, she's a Muslim. There are a lot of Christians who are circumcised. Jews and Christians. No, a lot of Christians are circumcised. In America too. In America. You don't know. Just go and research before you come and talk. So my friend, circumcision is a covenant from God with Abraham and his and his descendants. But that's Abrahamic covenant. In order for somebody to say I am the uh, the prophet from Abraham line, you have to be from that covenant. Meaning you have to have the Abrahamic circumcision. Sure. Right. Muhammad wasn't born in a Christian or a Jewish family because they used to circumcise. He was born in a pagan family. Quraysh was a pagan tribe. Yeah. So as a pagan, there is a tradition in going back to Egypt where they used to circumcise. But it had nothing to do with Abrahamic circumcision. You understand that? Go ahead. I do respect what you say and I listen to you. Yeah. But at the same time, at the same weight, if you like, I would ask for evidence that there will have to be no connection by the Abraham, you know, Ibrahim. Because then I'll have to say to you, show me. Yeah, yeah. When you ask me to show me over here. Yeah. So, so the Abrahamic covenant is in the Bible. And God says, for the uh, like a sign of my covenant, you have to circumcise all of your people and all your generations. That's in the Bible. Okay. So do you, you know, so that's the evidence that God is making a covenant and He's giving the sign of that covenant as circumcision. Does it say that in the yes, Old or the New Testament? Yes, in the Testament? New Old Testament with the Abraham. Old Testament. Yeah, when uh, Abraham is talking to God about this. Was it talking about specifically about yes. uh, circumcision? Yes, yes. God is saying that this will be the sign of, uh, of our covenant, will be the circumcision. Okay. Okay? okay. So now there is a covenant and has a, has a sacred special meaning. Only people who are in that covenant okay. are entitled to be part of that covenant. Okay? Without the right circumcision in the right context, you cannot be part of this. Okay. And my argument is that Muhammad, first of all, by well, that's for you, but not for me. So, no, not for right. you. I know. Right. You're so, a kafir. I am a proud kafir. I'd rather not worship the crescent moon god that you worship, okay. that Muhammad worship. Well, yeah, of course. If if you want to, I'd rather worship one god that is being approved in your that's fine. Uh, in right. your book. Yeah. All of the, the Old Testament. That's what my it friend, is. My friend, my friend, where are you from? Are you I, are you, where are you from? You're a nice person. I like I, talking to I, you. I'm, I'm going to talk I'm nicely Arab. to you. Okay. okay. Well, Arab. Nice okay. Are you Syrian? 
لا I'm not. Oh, Iraqi. No. No. Okay. But if I say Allah, it's okay. I, I don't want to go into that. It's for you. I know it's for you. I know it's for you. It's, it's for you. Okay. Because okay. okay. some. Okay. I respect you. I some, some, okay. I respect you. I respect you. I respect some some Muslims they say, oh, you have to say that. I don't that. mind. But some Muslims you say don't that. have to. No, no it's okay. But, but brother, if you say in the name of God and the Son and the Spirit, I'm not going to say to you. I'm not going to worship you. Pathetic. No, I'm not going to say like you say. Okay. So I wouldn't say. No, no, no. Okay. No, I was only saying, how are you, brother? All right, my friend, I was only saying that I don't want to say that because it's not, uh, to me, uh, Muhammad is nothing like uh, close to anything like no, a prophet or anything like that. That's, that's for you. Now, when you, when, you know what? This whole conversation can be very productive if there is, we I'm establish. I'm to find out for you. Please. Because obviously I don't have a solid no problem. evidence. It's as okay. You say, as, as you, you ask a valid thank you. question. I appreciate you saying that. Absolutely. And what I want to say to you, the most important thing, even more important than the covenant and the circumcision, is whether, because the Quran is saying that your Allah is the same as my God of the Bible, Yahweh. Right? That's what you believe? Yeah. Okay, thank you. That's impossible. Okay? Because if that's true, then I have no problem with Islam. Okay? My problem is not starting from Muhammad or from Quran or anything like that. That's secondary. My problem is with your Allah. Because your Allah can never, ever, ever be the God of the Bible. Okay? Because the God of the Bible, He calls Israel His children. Yeah. And the children of Israel, the Jews, they call Him the Father. Quran comes along and now we have a Allah that's saying I'm no father to no one. I beget no one. Yeah. All right. Now, of course, everybody knows this, that not the Jews, not the Christians believe that God had sex with any woman to have any sons or son, singular or plural. It's a spiritual relationship, right? So now, how can you tell me now there's another issue and now this is the issue with the Arabic. And now you're going to tell me you don't speak Arabic. I don't. But I can look into... I, I speak a language that has 30% Arabic I words in it. I speak Arabic, Turkish and French. And That's good. Turkish. And Turkish and English, of course. Yes, English That's and very good. My That's Arabic very good. is perfect. That's good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that.